Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Look above me. Do you see right next to my headband there? Beta 1.9.0.3. That's right. We're currently in the Minecraft beta. And my friends, I have something that is going to blow your mind. <laughs> are you ready for it? If you are, smack that like button right now or I'm not going to show it to you. I'm just kidding. It's a video. I am going to show it to you in a second. It's right here, in fact. It's the sun setting. <laughs> And a pig that's in love. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> nah, 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 I'm just kidding. It's a brand new scripting engine. I have something here known as Flappy Villager and Infinite Runner. I want to click it right now and look what happens. Enable scripts? Hmm. See, the panda's curious about it too. Hmm, says the panda. The world you're about to enter contains scripts that run on your device. Would you like to join this world? Oh, you betcha. And with that, my friends, we show you something very, very cool. I ignore all the weird flashing. Like I said, it's in beta. Ah, much better. There's my face. <laughs> and you can see some slimes behind me. But that's not what we're looking at here. You see, there's a button right on top of my face here. Press. And then look, a villager drops from the ground, and then so do we right after. You get a restart button, and you've got a leave button as well, as well as a big old fat you lost right in the middle of the screen. What is going on here exactly? Well, allow me to go ahead and carry on with the game for the time being. Feast your eyes where my mouse is. Down here at the bottom, another button will appear. It's a jump button. And when I click it with my mouse, or when you press it with your finger, you control elements on screen. And yes, my friends, what you're watching right now is Flappy Villager. There is a Flappy Villager that has been coded in using the latest and greatest in the beta. Scripting is coming to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Help me. Me. Notice the score slowly increasing above his head as he refocuses in on his goal. <laughs> oh, yo, speech is picked up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Holy moly. That's right, folks. We have official scripting engine that is now in Minecraft Pocket Edition, aka the Bedrock Edition of the game. And my amazing developer, Stark TMA Yasser, has created Flappy Bird in Minecraft using. Villagers. Yes, my arm is in fact in the way on the right side there, but this is very rudimentary. This is, oh, I died. <laughs> so sad. You're met with a restart and a leave. Now again, this is currently very rudimentary. We're in the middle of the beta right now, and so if you click leave, it just takes you back to a start button. But that's okay, folks. That's okay. This is mind-blowing. What we're going to be doing in this video is showing you a rough example as we currently are of how the scripting engine is working as well as the implications it will have for the future of Minecraft games. Yes, that's right. In the future, you're going to be seeing a lot more projects involving scripting in your typical Minecraft worlds. And the possibilities using scripting are going to be endless. Uh, not only that, but we're going to be heading over to the Minecraft.net web site in looking at one of the articles on the scripting engine so that you have a better understanding of what it is you are looking at. I know it's a villager, I know it's fun, and I know we're about to get that high score, baby. Yo, yo, high score. I think we got 113 as our last score here, so if we can do just a little bit better, I would be stoked. Not only that, but we have a couple other examples of games that are currently being made as well. Stark's channel is going to be linked in the description of this video if you want to check out more information about what's going on with Stark. Stark, yo, you killing it, dude. Rock it. Make it real. Make it happen. And look at this high score. Let's just keep this one going, baby, huh? We're going to see how far we can get on this guy. For anyone that doesn't know what Flappy Bird is, it's like one of the most infuriating games in the entire world. It literally is so difficult to beat. Although, Villager Bird... <laughs> or I guess Flappy Villager, we had a little bit of a different story here. Now this currently is in the beta, as I said, you cannot access this on, oh my god, light speed! Eee! It's a good thing it's kind of rough right now because we're able to go through some of the pipes. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. I think we had a high score of like 170 something. This is insane. 
We're here on the Minecraft.net website, if you couldn't tell, there's a giant Minecraft logo at the top here. <laughs> and more importantly, we're going to scroll down through the different articles so that we can show you exactly where you can find out more information about this amazing scripting engine right away. It's actually right here. Scripting API, now in public beta. Play around with Minecraft's insides, as well as an additional look at some awesome scripting stuff coming in the near future. Now, right here, just a quick look at it. There's a whole big article. We're actually going to look at that in just a second. For now, though, we do have another scripting example to show off to you. And meanwhile, I'm going to figure out why this pig is in love with this grass. Hey, Porker, can you give me some clues, please? I'm looking for love, too, man. Wow, he turned away. It's so sad. We get five likes, guys. Let's take a look at another scripting example, an infinite runner world. Notice again the window that pops up that you've never seen before unless you've been <laughs> messing with scripting. The world you're about to enter contains scripts that run on your device. Would you like to join this world? So my understanding of the scripting engine is that it is basically programmed in C sharp or something. Ah, oh, he's a glitch again. There we are, much better. Our villager comes back once again for infinite runner. Press start and look at what happens. You got some directions on the bottom here. You can press them in order to change where the villager is. While yes, it is rudimentary for the time being, in the future, we should expect to see some amazing scripted creations. And that's honestly not to take away from this. This is really cool that we're doing this with Minecraft. Minecraft has basically become its very own game engine that's going to allow us to basically make whatever we want using Minecraft. Yo, we got it. We, yo, we scoring big right now. Yo, score of 70. Yo, get it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. How far can we get? Well, I'm going to purposely lose right now. Look at that. We lost. Restart and leave. All right. Let's give it another shot, huh, baby? See how far we get. Guys. If you want to check out more about the scripting information, like I said, there's a whole article on there. I encourage any coders out there, any developers out there that really want to get their hands on some exciting new Minecraft stuff, <laughs> to first of all, reach out to me on Twitter, at log.zip on Twitter, because we'd love to work with you. Maybe get you some shout outs, maybe get you a little bit more. Make, let's make this bread in 2019, baby. Yo, seriously, this is really impressive stuff. Not only that, but the, the only thing that's more impressive is the fact that I am doing so well right now. Yo, we got a score. Uh oh, no, that's it. That's it. There's no way. E. Oh, we made it. Oh, my gosh. We almost hit the wall there. That would have been awful. So you can see it's very resp. Oh. I hit the wall. Yeah, why don't we just go to the website real quick? <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, work with me, guys. I know it on my webcam on. Just pretend the mouse is me talking and just focus in on the mouse. Okay, so we're on the Minecraft.net website and we are on the actual scripting article. This link is also gonna be in the description of today's video if you wanna find out more. And right off the bat, we're met with a really awesome looking image. It almost looks like some kind of RPG. We're right here, we've got turn order, skeleton, llama, ocelot, We've got the Vindicator, a Blaze, and what looks like another Vindicator. And they're all looking at each other with some HP options. The Llama's taking some serious hits. The Blaze and the Vindicator, they have seen better days as well. But more importantly, look at this area right here with all of the scripting information. Notice what it is we're looking at right here. This is all making up what you're seeing with this in-game screenshot. Let's read on further, huh? Scripting API now in public beta. Play around with Minecraft's insides. Ever wish Minecraft had turn-based combat? Or that you could play chess in Minecraft? Or that I would stop opening these articles with rhetorical questions and get to the point for once? Yes, Tom Stone, we would! We don't pay you to ramble! <laughs> we pay me to ramble. All these things are possible and so much more now that the scripting API is available in the Minecraft public beta. An API is an application programming interface. It's the art of tweaking the game's insides, writing new commands into Minecraft's texty innards to modify the game. The Minecraft script engine uses the JavaScript language. Scripts can be written in bubble behavior packs to listen and respond to game events, get and modify data in components that entities have and affect different parts of the game. And so look at this, everybody. Someone made chess. 
in Minecraft. And by someone, I mean the man, Stephen Blum, who we're also talking to right now. Stephen, if you're watching this, <laughs> hi. Let's get some stuff done, baby. Seriously, what is up with this pig? Guys, in the comments section, can you tell me what this pig is thinking of right now? Or who this pig is thinking of right now? Anyways, what we're watching on screen right now is Steven Blum running his script of chess in Minecraft. You see the join button, you see that you've got a couple other errors going on, which is gonna happen from time to time. But notice, wherever the crosshair looks, that is where the selection appears. And you've got a whole series of mobs and scripts and commands running that will allow you to play chess in Minecraft. You can see all the different server scripts happening right on screen, right here. You can also find more information about Stephen Blum's video in this Minecraft.net article if you want to check out some more information about that. All the different chess pieces are represented with the zombies being pawns. We've got the rooks as slimes. We've got the horses as creepers. What looks to be possibly, is it the witches? No, it looks like it's the evokers as our knights. We've got the queen is the witch. The, oh, wow. I mean, it's just crazy stuff, honestly. That was just a brief clip and look at what is to come with scripting. Anyone interested in diving in for themselves can check out the Minecraft wiki where they have tons of reference guides and sample packs as well as an excellent guy that explains scripting in Minecraft better than Tom Stone ever could. Sadly, guys, he's too foolish to figure out scripting modding or even how you turn on creative mode. That's why he's not allowed 50 feet within the room. And so here is a couple more images of these different scripting features as well. Gameplay from a Mob Arena minigame made with scripting. We've got a turn-based RPG combat system. Look down here with nice little ability buttons. This is fantastic. This is really cool, everybody. Now, today can currently be used to mod UI elements, animations, and entities, but this is just the beginning. We'll be rolling out more and more capabilities as we go on. Me personally, I could see a future where Minecraft is modded so much using the scripting engine that we are remaking entire full-blown games using scripting. Ever wanted to play Civilization in Minecraft and overhead move your armies based on pressing buttons? Maybe you want to have an actual full-blown temple run? I mean, shoot, the possibilities are literally endless. But I want to know what all of you guys think. So, in the comments section, aside from helping me figure out what this pig's love interest is all about, I mean, seriously, do you have an obsession with dirt or what? Get away from me. Lovebound freak, but I also want to hear what you guys think you would like to see using the scripting engine because I have my devs right now Stark Xavier and a couple of other amazing developers that are keen to jump into scripting and make some awesome stuff For all of you guys to play in the future. So let me know what you want to see. Let me know your thoughts <laughs> Let me know about that pig and if you enjoyed today's video leave a like on it. Thanks for subscribing I don't have my bell in this room, but make sure you subscribe to see all future Minecraft videos right as they come out and enjoy Minecraft is getting better and better. Beta 1.9 is changing the game. We'll see you later.